Hi, I'm Allie, and this morning at PCI St. Pete Beach, we're working with Crystal, Pal, and Ale, and we're working on their serve-receive attacking and finding different angles to put themselves in the best position to score a point. And we're avoiding hitting the meat of the court. We want to go for the sidelines a little bit more. So that's what we're working on this morning. Similar height people. We can all hit the same, which is awesome. So, when I'm hitting, especially on a men's net, I am not worried about my follow through because I know that I can't get that ball straight down. When you guys are, really when you're missing the most, you're just hitting the ball fat. So you're hitting right at the center of the ball as opposed to if it was a clock, 12 o'clock, or 11 o'clock, or one o'clock, and being on top of it you're just a little bit like in the middle of it. So it happens like, it just means that we're a little, our timing is a little bit off. So if we can get up to where we can get up on top of the ball and then we're driving it down, that's where we wanna be. And you, you, do, you do it when the timing is right and then here. The other thing I want us to kind of think about is the speed in our approach. It is awesome to have an ideal, like have the same speed in our approach every time, just slow to fast, smooth, 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 but sometimes that doesn't happen. So I think what separates me as a smaller hitter is people always tell me, like, you get your feet to the ball every single time, and we have to, because if we're jumping and reaching for the ball, we're taking away so much more height from us. But a lot of it also comes from having to either speed up my approach if I'm late or slow it down if I'm early, right? So what I mean by that is if the set is a little bit low, then I'm crashing into it and then jumping fast. But if the set is a little high, then I'm gonna wait, 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 and then two steps try to go up to it. So in our next round, I'm gonna challenge you guys mostly, and then I have a different challenge for you, Crystal. I wanna challenge you guys to play around with the speed of your approach. So if you see that the set is a little bit lower, go crash into it and jump fast. Maybe half jump and be compact to then finish into a good spot. I want you to try to open your hand up when you're hitting. Right now you're kind of clubbing it a little bit. And if you open your hand up, I think you'll really be able to extend your shoulder up. That is the last point that I have is I really try to extend my lat and my shoulder. If you were to be swinging and reaching, pulling this up. So we're hitting here, hitting here. Feel that little difference? Yeah. You're getting like two more inches of height what, or of length in your arm when you do that. Yeah, exactly. So you're just extending that lat. So it's gonna feel a little weird, but on the follow through, it feels like you're pushing the ball. This is what we're doing right now. So we're here and we're just kind of swinging at it. But if we come here and then go there, do you see the difference of the shape of that shot? The first one was flatter. The second one had more shape and it was gonna be harder to defend. This is without the reach. Okay. And that ball went out. This is with the reach. That ball was a little closer. But it, had, it, was hit, it hit the ground faster. That's my point, is that with the reach, the ball is gonna go down at a faster trajectory. So here, and then down. We're gonna have a target. So right now, we're gonna try to avoid hitting in the pizza slice. The pizza slice, is where an angle defender stands, right? So if you hit the ball in the pizza slice, I have a pretty good chance of getting it here. I have a pretty good chance here. Pretty good chance back there, unless you hit a perfect jumbo that I can't get to. But then, there's all that area and our cut shot spot. So, I'm gonna serve and run into the pizza slice. You're gonna face me, because that's where our approach line is, but you have to hit outside of the pizza slice. So, if we can master a perfect shape on our shot and stuff, let's aim for that. Woo! 
Nice. Oh, good try. Ali, I want to challenge you. Instead of trying to hit the ball into the line, I want you to try to shoot it and have a nice shape like a rainbow shot into the corner, right into that corner. Face me. Yes, 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 nice one. Good. Face me. Yup. Nice. Yeah, Crystal. Nice one. Yup. Face me. Nice. Good. Try to face me a little bit more on your approach. You're coming in a little straight, so your angles are kind of disappearing and then reappearing. So if you keep them in front of you the whole time, they'll always be there. Face me. There it is. There it is, love the attempt, love the attempt. Really good job. Now, when we're on the right side, our focus is a little different, right? As we're hitting or as we're approaching into it, we wanna be square, more square to the net. We're gonna work on the thumb up motion for the right side, right? So everything is gonna be into the angle, um, everything into the angle, and I want the finish to be thumb up. So as we're not following through, right, because we just talked about we don't really follow through, we don't have to, unless we're back here and we need to. But as we're hitting, I want us to hit and then freeze and see if our thumbs look like this. Yeah, see if we've gotten that ball down to that deep corner, sharp angle, sharp chili popper, all right? So, yeah. <laughs> We'll, we'll learn the chili popper and the honey dipper too. Those are the JM specials. So we're working on our thumb up motion, right? So if the ball was a clock, we're aiming for one o'clock. Nice. Yes, pal, good finish, good finish. Yup. Nice, nice shot, Crystal. Yeah. Crystal! Amazing! Yep. Nice set. Good pal, good pal, nice. Hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Uh, make sure when you're hitting, you're trying to avoid the meat of the court. We wanna hit the ball where the defender's not. So, try it out. See, play around with the thumb up and the thumb down idea and let us know what you think.